what we're going to do today is we're going to put on a sheer white film. So in each packet there are two strips, so if you just go ahead and open the package, you can either use the little white um, opening tool, or I actually already opened it for you, so you should just be able to peel that right off. In each pack there are two films, an upper and a lower. It doesn't matter which one you open, um, or which one you use, because they're both exactly the same size. The little white squiggly line has nothing to do with the whitening strip uh, itself. That's just holding the film onto the tray. So do, go ahead and peel one out. The sticky side is facing up. That's the side that's going to go against your teeth. And we're just going to lay it flat against your teeth. You'll be covering the entire tooth. It's okay if you get it up on the gums a little bit. Uh, once you get it all through the interior, you can actually stick the film inside your mouth and stretch it back onto the back molars. Okay. So you can go ahead and do that. Excellent. Now what I'd like you to do is take your thumbs and press them on your on your centrals, just on the front. And I only want you to go halfway. I don't want you to roll it all the way to the back on the first pass, so stop. Now go to your cuspids and look at me. Take a roll from the outside to the inside, just to the cuspids, and then go to your molars and roll from the outside just to the biting surface. Now come back to the centrals and start in the front and go all the way. There you go. Start in the front and go all the way to the back. The reason we do it in two steps is we don't want to get a fold in the material because if it gets a fold, it'll stick to itself and then that makes it crease. That's great. That's good. Now, take your fingernail or the tool that we provided and push the, um, the film in approximately between your teeth. Okay. What that will do is two things. Number one, it will get the carbamid to go between your teeth, take care of any interproximal staining that you may have. And number two is it gives you a little definition on the facial side of your teeth, making it look a lot less like a, a film or a tray. Now, if you take the edge of that, or again, you can use your thumbnail, and vertically, between your teeth, push up in between in your beauty spaces. What that'll do is it'll um, show the curvature of your incisal edge at the edge of your teeth. So again, it just makes it disappear and makes it look like your teeth instead of wearing a film strip. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. Can't even tell you have it on. Can you smile for me? Very pretty. So, what did, how's it feel? Feels great. Okay. Can you taste anything? Just a little mint? Just a little mint taste. Okay. And that'll go away in about 10-15 minutes. It'll actually dissolve off of your gums and then your teeth will be sealed. The nice thing about that is you'll then be able to drink coffee, coke, wine, tea, whatever you want to drink while you're wearing it and your teeth are protected. Now you'll wear the strip anywhere between four to six hours. Mm -hmm. So you can wear it all night long. Um, and in the morning when you get wake up, it'll just peel off in one cellophane type strip. Okay. Or you can wear it from breakfast until lunch during the coffee drinking hours and then you're protecting your teeth while you're, while you're whitening. Um, if you decide to take them off early, so after about an hour or two because you need to eat or something like that, all you have to do is use warm water. Pull them down from the gums a little bit, switch with a little warm water, pull them off the front side, switch with a little more warm water, pull them off the back side and they'll come off right away. Okay. Any questions? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. You did a great job. Thanks.